All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her going here. Start me off. Where to bid to go? Have it like a thousand dollar. Open it up. Do you need textile services? Welcome back. <music> Learning is a never ending blessing, and it's also a challenge for everyone that wants to have a good life. So fortunately, there are people and companies out there that are dedicated to helping us out. So today's episode is asking the question, do you need tax title services? Well, I'm going to present you back with a question, and that is, are you an expert at researching title? Do you know how to research a title? Do you know what clear title is? Do you understand who the owner is that you're buying it from? Do you understand defects of title? If you don't understand clear title or chain of title, then you're going to have to hire someone to help you out. Now, these are just a few of the questions that come up regarding title services. So the question today is that I'm answering is, do you need tax title services? Well, that's going to be up to you because if you know what you know, that's great. But most people, well, they don't know a priority lien from any lien. They don't know what's going on. So you're going to need someone that's going to have, help you out. So I'm going to be very direct when I say this. You don't know what you don't know. And that's important to have people around you that will help you out. So if there's defects in this property in the title and you buy it, you're going to have challenges when you go to sell it. So if you're purchasing a property and you don't know whether it's encroaching on someone else's property or someone else is encroaching on your property, well, then you're going to have, going to have a problem on your hands. How are you going to find that out? Well, a title company will tell you right away. Now, my name is Ted Thomas. I've been involved in the tax defaulted business for over 30 years. Okay, it's nothing more than the traditional real estate business. It includes homes, vacant residential lots, small apartment properties, small farms, small office buildings, includes all of that, except these properties are all in tax default. And that simply means that those property owners are in the process of forfeiting their property to the county because they haven't paid the property tax. And the county is going after them. In other words, it all starts with the legislature. The legislature makes the rules and sends them down to the county and the board of supervisors and the county commissioners. What do they have to do? They have to enforce the law. And the law is everyone pays property tax. If you don't pay the property tax, the local county is going to seize and they're going to confiscate the property. What are they going to do with it? They just want to sell it. They want to sell it and they're going to sell it at a tax defaulted auction. How about to go? How about to go there? How about to go there? How about to go where? How about to go here? How about now? How about to go? And they're going to sell it for the back taxes. Well, what a perfect place to buy property. Buy them from the county at very low prices for back taxes. When they sell the property, they delete the mortgage and they delete the deed of trust loan if there is one. So now you're buying properties without the mortgage encumbrances, but you don't know about whether there's a clear title or not. So real estate purchasing has consequences, good and bad. All right, now the local counties take a lot of time to try to educate buyers. And what do they try to educate them? They try to educate them that it's a serious business. And if you buy the property and you buy it at a tax auction, they're not going to be doing a lot of guarantee. Now, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a real estate broker, and I'm not a financial advisor. But I can tell you right now, you're probably going to have to get legal advice from a, either a title company or you're going to have to get it from an attorney so that you understand this title work. I can say that because you don't know what you don't know, and I don't know what legal notices are going to be against that property. So right now, I'm just pointing out a few highlights of what can happen. But the local statutes are always there. So the local statute, meaning the law, will tell you what's right and what's wrong. But you're probably going to need someone to help you interpret all that. Now in Florida, the statute that applies to tax liens and tax deeds is Florida Statute 197. So you can look up and get yourself started there. All right, so you'll notice when you're reading or anything on the county website, the county presents the information, but they also tell you that that information may not be accurate, all right? So that means that they're not warranting that information, all right? So they're not warranting the condition of the property. They're not warranting that whether there's any defects in the title or anyone. That's going to be your job to verify that information. So when properties are sold at tax defaulted auction, they're sold with a, with a quit claim deed. Now, I didn't say quick, meaning fast. 
I said quit, meaning Q-U-I-T, meaning stop. All right, so these properties all qualify for buyer beware uh, because what the county is going to do is they're not warranting any clear titles. So what does that mean? That means you're probably going to need a title service to make sure you can get it clear. Why would you need a title service? Because who's going to buy it from you? All right, so when you buy a property at auction, what are you going to get? You might get a treasurer's deed. You may get a commissioner's deed. You might get a tax collector's deed. I can assure you they're all going to have the effect of a quit claim deed. And a quit claim deed simply says the county's not, they're not passing any judgment on what the condition of the property is, and they're not warranting any defect in the title. In other words, you're not going to get a clear title. Now, again, I'm not an attorney. I'm not an advisor. I'm not a broker. I'm just a investor just like you would be and I'm a coach and a guide teach people how to do this so you will need to ask those questions of an attorney you don't want to ask me because I'm not allowed to answer that all right so what's so attractive about the tax lien business well you buy properties from the county for 10 20 30 cents on the dollar that means you're going to buy it at rock bottom prices then you can sell those properties to whoever you want and you can sell them at whatever price you want and that's going to be your margin of success all right so there's no guarantee of success now one of the things if you want to accelerate your success and make it happen quickly well hire a coach the coach is going to make the difference between success and failure even though you have a coach you're going to have to wait to clear the title because is anybody else going to buy the property? Well, I don't know if they're going to buy it because selling into the retail market means that the person's going to have a broker and they're probably going to have an attorney. So when you go on late night television, all this happens very quickly. Internet, okay, including YouTube, everybody's selling quickly and everybody's making a bundle of money. Well, I'm going to tell you this is a profitable business, but there's going to be challenges with the conditions of the property and whether the title is clear. Who's going to be responsible for doing all that? You are. So my intention here in the video is to show you how to make money by putting a small amount of money up and then making a relatively large profit in compared to the amount of money you put up. So I like to buy just one property and put a lot of money into it in the hopes of making a lot of money, but it doesn't always work quite so well that way. All right, so pay attention and embrace what I'm saying here, and you're going to find what I say is going to be transformational for you. Now, when I say transformational, I mean think about what the business I'm in. This is a big business. Over 3,000 counties are auctioning property every year. That means there's going to be 5,000 of these auctions. I didn't make the rules, the legislature did, and they passed it down to the county. So you're going to do business with the county. The treasurer is only interested in one thing, it, selling the property and collecting the back taxes. They don't care that they're selling it for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. So you can buy at low prices, but it's going to be your job to be able to go and look and determine the condition before you buy it. If you don't get boots on the ground and check that property out, you're making a huge mistake. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state in the next 90 days. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm going to show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and Auction Calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction 24-7. Okay, now folks, if you saw those circles on the map, I'm here to tell you in the small counties, small population counties, they'll have dozens, maybe even hundreds of properties to sell. In the large population counties, you can expect them to have hundreds, even thousands of properties. I've attended auctions where there's 2,000 properties to auction. All right, now I've tested many strategies. I've tried all kinds of techniques. I've shifted through dozens of these properties, and I'm telling you, this is the best and the fastest way to achieve paydays on a regular basis. Why? Because we're buying these properties at rock bottom dollar, very close to 10 and 20 cents on the dollar. All right. Now I've discovered what's, what works and I've done that by making a lot of mistakes so that you won't have to do that. What I'm talking about today is not theory. It's a process. It's been perfected. This system works because we tested it. 
We perfected it, and we did that in the trenches with real deals when there was big money on the line. So this same business will work for you. All right, now don't go quitting your job. That's my first rule. I say, don't quit your job. My second rule is, review rule number one. Don't quit your job. Keep your job, because this business, once you get it going, you can let that job go away. But until you've got the business really going, this is a business, I can tell you right now, one tax defaulted property could end up making all your car payments, all your house payments, and having your nice trips to wherever you want to go. But it's going to take a little time to build into that business. You'll need to buy property that you've checked prior to the purchase and you've done your due diligence. So check the condition, check with the property records. Why do you want to do all that? Because you're ultimately going to want to sell this property. Now, the new buyer certainly is going to be skeptical. Okay, if they're not skeptical, I'll tell you who will be. Their broker and their attorney will be skeptical and they'll want you to provide a property with a clear chain of title. All right, how are you going to do that? You're either going to do that by having an attorney or tax title services or a title company do that. It would be rare to find a buyer that would accept a property without a clear title. Now, my name is Ted Thomas. Right below me, you can re register and let us know that you'd like to have a list, an auction list, and we'll provide you with one. This is happening in 3,000 auctions across the United States. Don't buy a property at auction unless you have boots on the ground. I don't know whether there was a fire, a hurricane, a flood, or whether it's next to a chicken or a pig farm. You want to make sure you've looked at the property before you buy. Your exit strategy is important, and you can see that's what we talked about on this particular episode. The exit strategy, you need to do things right, so know what your exit strategy is before you buy. I'm Ted Thomas. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.